Hi, welcome to our channel. This is a 3D printed spout that you can attach to a bottle cap. It consists of two parts, the spout and fastening ring. Simply slide in the spout on a bottle cap with hole like this. Then tighten using the ring part. You can use this spout to water your plants and so on. But please don't use it for foods and drinks as it might be not food safe. To use it, you can put this assembly on the barrel, and with this design, we'll have a smooth water outflow. Because the tip of the spout has two holes, one for the water outlet and one for the air inlet to balance out the pressure. Now, let's move to Design Spark Mechanical to make the design. First, we will make a circle here with 24 millimeters diameter I will type in 24 and then uh, click this one pull and then click here and pull by 2 millimeters and then after that I will click this one so we are we still have this surface active now so I click this one circle and we will make a circle here with diameter of 16 millimeters so type in 16 and then again I will click pull and then I will click this one and extrude by 10 millimeters and then press select so we have this basic shape for the spout base this will be the flange that will go inside the bottle cap and then we will add a shape here for the ring or the nut and to do that I will click here and then click this one circle and then from this center I will 24 millimeters first and then after that this one 20 millimeters and now we'll hide the first solid object and click this one 3d mode and we have this shape I will pull it by 4 millimeters okay click select and then I can delete this surface not necessary anymore for this uh, surface and then click this solid to show so now we have these two shapes let's rename the first one this is going to be the spout and then this one is the nut or the ring okay so now let me move the ring a bit uh, further it's going to be uh, let me put 1.5 millimeters so the barrel cap will be between the spout flange and the ring or the nut it will be here at this uh, thickness now I will add thread for these two parts and to do that I will click here and then press K and then press V to have a top view for the cross-sectional view and then now we will add thread and we will use the basic uh, simple design for 3d printed thread 2 millimeter speech and to do that let me start by clicking this one line and then starting from here I will add a 0.4 millimeter for the uh, root and then 1.4 with 120 degrees angle for the flank and then two millimeters sorry 0 0.2 millimeters for the crest and then another 1.4 millimeters 120 degrees for the flank and we have this shape and I will add another one millimeter here two millimeters here and one millimeter here so we have this shape to uh, make the thread and after that I will make a thread shape also for the spout and to do that again I will click this one line and then from we'll start from this point okay let me zoom a little so here starting but we'll go uh, to the other way so starting from this point we will make a line as the root 0 0.4 and then after that the flank is 1.4 with 120 degrees and then for the crest 0 
and then next sorry zoom out zoom in flank 1.4 and then after that i will add another lines to help blending with the uh, inner spout okay now click next sorry click select and we have these two shapes which will be our thread design and then i will hide uh, the spout part so we will start by making the thread design for the ring so i will click this one the 3d mode okay and i will yeah click the, this one and then click pull and then click this one the revolve and then click this axis ah, sorry missed it click revolve click this axis and then click revolve helix and now i will type in four millimeters height and then press tab and enter two millimeters pitch and then press enter so we have this for the uh, ring thread i will click this one select and let me cut out this unnecessary uh, part so i will click here and then press split body oh it's not working so we'll do another method so let me click this one select click on this surface and make a shape here any shape is okay as long as it cover the part that we want to cut out and then i will hide the ring first and then press 3d mode and then show again the ring I will click this one pull and then click this surface the circle surface and then click cut and then pull away so now it's clean without any bulging thread okay let me uh, hide this ring so we will continue by making the thread for the spout and to do that let me hide this one and show the spout and use this uh, thread design for the spout click pull and then click this one revolve helix and then click this one the axis and then revolve helix okay and the height maybe you want to add more in case the bottle cap is thicker than 1 or 1.5 millimeters so in this case i will input not four but maybe six six millimeter for the height and then for the pitch still two millimeters and then press enter so we have this shape and this is the ring okay we have this basic shape already and next i will add more design to the ring to make it more easy to tighten so we will add some contour for the outside of the ring and i will hide the spout first and then click on the ring and then click this one circle to make the basic circle shape for the uh, cutting design and then i will add a circle here by two millimeters in diameter and then i will hide the ring and i will copy this circle design so i will click here and then press move and then move this center to this center and then I will click this one create patterns on the left portion of the screen okay and then move it uh, you will see that the circle will copy it several times but looks like a random places so uh, when you release the mouse button you can input numbers in the count column so I will type in 16 and it's uh, done like that I will delete this uh, circle the larger one and then now click this one the 3d mode and then bring back the ring okay no okay now i can cut this ring with these small circles and to do that let me hide the ring first and then select all of this circle i just press ctrl a you can also use this method so just drag the mouse and then show the ring from the structure view and then click pull and click cut and now i will cut the ring so it will comes like this okay done for the ring is finished we can save it 
and then after that I will hide the ring and work on the spout so this is the basic shape of the spout but as you see from the beginning of this video we will have two lines inside the spout it will be for the air to come in and water to come out so I will click here and here and then I will add a circle or some certain thickness I will click this one the offset curve and then add thickness by 1.6 so I will click here and then input 1.6 okay and then now I will press V to have a top view and I will add another circle so I will click this one circle and we will click here for the center of the other circle the new one and then I will move here by 10 millimeters so we will have this circle and then we will add thickness 1.2 millimeters for this uh, shape so I will click this one the offset curve again sorry I press escape <laughs> click here and now I will input 1.2 so we have this uh, shape and then click select click 3d mode and we have this shape now I will delete this one not used anymore okay so now I will click here and then press ctrl and click here and now we'll click pull cut and okay now we have this uh, shape for the spout but this will be the base of the spout we need to design the tip of the spout also so I will click here and then press ctrl C press ctrl V and then we will move the copy up by 20 millimeters and we will work on from this uh, surface so I will press K and then click on the surface and then press V okay I will hide the spout base so now we will work on this one and we'll start by making an 8 millimeters diameter circle so to do that I will click this one line click from this outer uh, line and then uh, make 4 millimeters line so we will have the center of the new circle here I will click circle and then click here make a an 8 millimeter circle and we have this shape now okay I will click select and delete the unnecessary lines that we used to guide the new lines but for the new circle but we don't need anymore okay now from the circle we will add thickness 1.2 so I will click this one offset curve and then click here and then 1.2 okay and then next we will also add uh, circles for the air line so to do that I will click this one circle and then from this point we will make an 8 millimeters circle like this and then again we will add thickness so I will click here sorry press escape and then click here and then 1.2 thickness so we have this shape and then press select press the 3d mode and this is the shape I will click here delete click here delete this one also and this one also so we have this shape now we will plan this top one the tip of the spout with the base of the spout so to do that first let me copy this surface so double click here and then press ctrl C ctrl V and then I will hide the spout so we will blend these two surfaces but it's going to be difficult for the software to uh, blend if there are many lines here so we will simplify these two uh, surfaces so let me delete the lines also for this one And then after that we will blend by clicking here press ctrl and then click here and then this one blend oh it doesn't work well 
as you can see the blending is not working well it goes everywhere <laughs> but don't worry uh, let me try to solve this problem so let me click here and then make a circle from this center so we sorry wait 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 okay we have this one and then click this one 3d mode so we have this set of surface this one that we want to blend and these two which is not used anymore okay and then we will also click here and then make another circle here which is going to be like this okay we'll go through the outside of the circles and then click 3d mode so okay for the bottom or the base of the spot we also have similar shape this one that we will blend and these two surfaces which just going to be there and then let me click select and then press control click this one and then click this one also and press this one this button blend okay now it works now i press enter now we'll hide these two surfaces it's not needed anymore you can also delete it if you want and we have this spout and now for the tip we will add more length like three millimeters so i will click here and then i will click this one circle and then make a circle from this center here 5.6 okay and then click select and now we will click this one the 3d mode and we have this surface i will pull it by let's say three millimeters okay now we have this tip and we do this to separate the uh, line for the water to come out and the air to come in so it makes it easy for the tip to work and then click here and then i will add more pull round here one millimeter is enough okay and then click here 0 0.4 is enough and Maybe we'll also add some planch here. Pull. Sorry. Chamfer. <laughs> Not flange. Sorry. Click here. Ah, it still has a surface, so it is confused. Now click here, delete, and then press this one. And then add chamfer. 0.4. Done. So now we have this shape for the top portion of the spout and then show the base portion of the spout now we can combine these two so i'll just uh, select both and then click combine done click select so we have this okay let me add another chamfer here so press ctrl and click these two curves pull chamfer and two millimeters okay done so this is the design of the spout and also the ring so let me rename it and you can export the design uh, one by one so the uh, ring will be one part and the spout will be one part and print uh, together you don't need to use any support for this design and then you can install or you can attach to bottle cap that allows this dimension to be inside so this is going to be 12 millimeters radius or 24 millimeters in diameter i will post the stl and design spark mechanical file on cults 3d you can find the link on the video description later on if you like this content don't forget to click like subscribe and see you again in the next video have a great day bye